Welcome back to The Welsh Show. Now, you caught up with the world's favourite phantom this I week, didn't you? I did, indeed. He's the man who's played Phantom of the Opera the more times than anybody else. It's Peter Carey. Shall we have a look at him? OK. great that joining us in the Music Wales studio is Welsh singing legend mm. Peter Carey. Peter, thank you very much for joining us. Hi. Now you've had, a, I think it's fair to say, a long and, and illustrious career. Looking back, what is the thing that sticks out most in your mind? Um, I've been very fortunate. I was lucky. I was in the right place at the right time. Um, I started off trying to be a pop singer and failed miserably at that. I ended up in London kind of busking uh, for a living and kind of sleeping a bit rough and uh, then I got asked to go for an audition um, I went for the audition and, and fell into musicals it was just as simple as that I mean possibly the role you're best known for is Phantom and mm. how did that come about that you got the role? I was doing Jet Valjean and I'd been doing it for about uh, three years and um, Cameron McIntosh's right hand man came in and asked me on a Tuesday, I remember vividly, uh, would I like to play Phantom? And I said, yeah. And he said, all right, well, we're sending you off to Vienna to audition for Hal Prince. Came back and didn't hear another thing, not for weeks, not for weeks. And then about two months later, in came the same right-hand man again. He said, do you fancy playing Phantom? I said, yeah. He said, right, I'm sending you off to New York. Uh, Hal wants to see you in New York. Oh, I said, all right. So off to New York I went and did, and I walked on stage. He said, haven't I seen you before? I said, yes, in Vienna. And it was winter. It was like as cold as you can imagine. I said, yeah, in Vienna. Ah. He said, you're okay. You're good. I said, yes, then. I said, I know, but if you're going to do this again, can you make it Hawaii? <laughs> and he said, yes, good idea. Well, I think we should have a little look at uh, you singing Phantom of the Opera that you're best known for. Tends each sensation, dark nesters, and wakes imagination. Silently, the senses abandon their defense. Doing something more relaxing now. You're going on a on a small halls tour. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. We we were approached. Would we um, put a small halls tour together, which would f uh, promote the halls into persuading people to, to come there to see a performance? And so we did. And we also did a put it together as a fundraiser. They get thirty percent of it, and so that goes into the. Paul's funds. And we, we've done three or four now, and they've all been fab. They've been just great. We've got um, quite a few dates still. Can find people find the, uh, the dates you still got left to play on your website? Yep, on the, on the website and uh, the halls are, uh, and Twitter and, and um, all of the kind of media stuff. Yeah, we'll put that across the bottom of the screen. And uh, tell me about your album you've got out at the moment as well. Oh, came up with this album called Standing Alone, and uh, it's an eclectic mix of uh, songs I've written and just didn't do anything with and songs that uh, I wanted to do for a long, long time and uh, you got some great uh, theatrical numbers like um, uh, Until I Hear You Sing Once More from Love Never Dies, that's a great song and uh, Mal Pope, who I, I've worked with uh, quite a lot through the years I uh, put some of his songs on because I reckon he writes a real mean tune and it was, uh, I enjoyed doing them in the show, so I thought we'd do them again. There's, there's a lot of good stuff there. 
So it's on standing alone. The album's out now. Yeah. Ms. Carrick, thank you very much indeed for joining us. And all the best for the Small Balls Tour. Great. There we go. So Peter's on tour now. Go to the website on screen now for dates. Now, uh, you were saying, Adam, your mum's a bit of a fan of, uh, of Peter's. Yeah, yeah. I was... Um I, I like the musical, but not as much as her, but yeah, I was subjected to it as a kid. <laughs> subjected yeah. to it, right, okay. <laughs> a lot of, many, many times. Did your mum used to sing along? Yeah, she's got actually not a bad voice in fairness.